Let's take a gander at some of the painting tools in After Effects. Believe it or not, yes you can actually paint on your objects and even change the colors of things like a cat. So to follow along, open up the Everest file that you'll find inside your work files folder and just drag the Everest.mov into this little comp button or drag it right in here, the comp window or pane. So I'm going to go to my workspace and I'm going to choose paint from the options and as you can see here it moves everything over and gives us this big layer window that's blank well the painting tools work with a layer so what we have to do is I'm going to go down to the timeline and double click on Everest and now it's ready to go you'll notice that my cursor changes into a brush shape and I can go, go over here and look at my tools so what do we have here well, first of all, we have our paint panel. And in this panel, we have the ability to change the opacity of the paint, the flow of the paint, which is like an airbrush. And of course, the opacity controls how strong that paint's coming out. I'll give you an example. I'll go ahead and click on this little arrow here to change to this background or foreground swatch like so. And I can click on it one time to open up the color picker. I'll grab a blue color and I'll lower the opacity to like 10%. And when I paint over here, you see a very light blue. And if I scrub the opacity higher, I get a darker blue. That's really handy. We also have the ability to work with different channels here. RGB, alpha, and so on. We also have our brushes, which are, of course are very important. The brushes allow you to quickly change the size and the softness of the brush based on what you click on here in this list. We even have brushes that have different angles. So we have these ellipses that are pretty much compressed and we can paint with those as well. Notice that your icon even changes to reflect that. So here's a hard brush and here is a soft brush that has a little bit of a haze along the edge. If you want to customize your brush even further, feel free to go to your diameter and you can increase or decrease the size of the brush and when you move your mouse back into the layer you see that it's gotten quite larger or smaller. We can even affect the roundness of that brush and we can squash it to create our own ellipse and then we can change the angle with this guy. And Once again your brush tip reflects that. Now the spacing is very important. When you have a low spacing like this, this simply means how many times this picture is painted over your canvas. So let me go ahead and show you. I'll go ahead and increase this to like a hundred or so and I'll paint. Now you can see because we have more spacing the actual dots that make up that brush stroke. I'll dial that back down and now they're closer. Brush dynamics work hand in hand with something like a Wacom tablet or any tablet you might be using. So I can affect my brush strokes with pen pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and make a pretty big brush to show you that I can have my brush dynamics size controlled by pen pressure or my pen tilt or even a stylus wheel. I'm going to press very lightly. Now press harder and lightly again. And you see that the brush size is actually being affected by that. So if you have a Wacom tablet or any kind of digital tablet, this is something you definitely want to check out to achieve a more realistic painterly feel. We even have the ability to affect the opacity of, of that as well. So if you rather have the opacity affected by pen pressure, choose that, or the roundness, or even the flow. So that's a look at the painting tools inside of After Effects.